Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into the Futura Nike SB Dunk Lows. Starting with the packaging, as you guys can see, you have your standard SB box right here. You're going to have your all over sale throughout that with your gray Nike SB branding on the top of the lid and then another Nike SB hit here on the back of the box. Now reading the size tag, it says Nike SB Dunk Low OG Quick Strike Bleach Aqua Geo Teal White. And when it comes to this box in particular, this is your new modern day style SB box. Each generation has a different style box over the years as you can see from the photos here from the past years from the OG to the current time and it's kind of a representation of the sneakers that were coming out during that era and everybody kind of started during different times when they became SB fans so for me in particular I came up during the time when it was the black and purple and the pink box era had was just finishing which in my opinion was the golden era of SBs but one thing I can say is the past few years we have seen a lot of great SB collaborations and I'm excited to see how people feel about about these 10 years from now. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now flipping open the lid of the box right here, you got your classic wood grain print all throughout the paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Also, before we get too far, these come with a Nike SB sticker as well. Typically, we see this on a lot of the releases. Now, when it comes to first impression of this sneaker, honestly, I can tell you right now, these things are nice. And I'm sure you're hearing a lot of people on the internet talking about, this is the best sneaker of the year, or if anything, the best SB of the year. And I can't lie, these are definitely really nice, Based off of the collaborations that I see projected to come out, I could see why people are making that statement. And again, it may or may not be for everybody, but at the end of the day, they did a really good job representing the artist and all the other elements on the sneaker. And speaking of that, we gotta talk about the history first. Futura is an artist that has been around for a long time and has set his name in the game and has done multiple collaborations with not only Nike, but other brands as well. He's based out of New York, but his first shop opened up in Japan. And eventually from his own name and his own self, he started Futura Laboratories as well, which is why we see the FL here on the inside of the heel counter. Now I know there's a lot of hype around this sneaker in particular, but we got to talk about some of his best collaborations ever. The Air Force Ones, the Navy SB Dunk Low, the Dunkle High, and we can't forget to mention the Floms. For those that don't know what that means, it's for love or money. This is a very rare sneaker that's limited to 24 pairs and worth over $50,000 and it has all the currencies on the shoe from around the world incorporated in its design. And notice on there you have that same FL branding as well. And I'm not sure if you guys know but there's actually a low top which is estimated to be only five pairs in existence and we got a chance to see those on the channel here in the past and if you guys want to see that video of ryan cooper's collection which is loaded with crazy sb grills go ahead and check that out after this video is done because i'm telling you right now it is a banger as you guys can see there have been some legendary releases in the past and even considered the best and greatest SB releases of all time have come from Futura. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of understanding as to why so many people are interested or love this sneaker and anticipated this when it came out. And I truly think this is a bargain for this pair right now, saying that they're only reselling for a few hundred bucks. And based off of all his shoes in the past, I could understand why this would be a thousand dollar sneaker, because this is essentially a piece of art. Let's go ahead and get into all the details of this shoe. So looking at the outsole right here, this is considered to be a Nike dunk OG. So what exactly does that mean? If you look at the outsole right here, yes, it looks like your classic Nike Dunk. I understand. But what we've been seeing recently, a lot of Nike SB Dunk Low Pros. Look at the outsole here. You can see that there's these three little lines that go all around throughout the inside on the back end around the heel. And then the shape and then pattern is a little bit different here on the front end of the foot as well. So when you put the two shoes side by side, you can clearly see the difference when it comes to the traction pattern on these two shoes. And don't get me wrong, there are still some new modern day releases that do have that same OG dunk low traction pattern like the Travis Scott SB. But if you look at the Strange Loves, that's gonna be a pro outsole. So just something to take note because everybody thinks that all the SBs are the same, but actually there's some subtle differences between the models. You have your classic Nike branding in the center of the foot. And then behind that, you have Futura's signature in all black underneath this icy blue translucent outsole. Now going to the midsole, you're gonna have all white rubber with a turquoise stitch. And then onto the upper, you're gonna have essentially two different types of meshes when it comes to the materials and then a suede and a 3M as well. So this helps gives the shoe a lot of different dimensions when it comes to the materials and presentation. So when it comes to the white mesh throughout the tongue, the vamp, the side panels, and a little bit right here around the back end on the collar, as I feel the mesh, 
Honestly, it's a little bit soft. I thought it was gonna be a lot more gritty and stiff. Now, when it comes to the rest of the panels on the eye stays, the mud guard, and around the heel counter area, you're gonna see this is more of a canvas-like material where it looks like they dyed or printed onto this area. Now, one thing that I did notice is sometimes when you see on SBs, for example, look at my De La Soul Dunk Highs. Notice the same heel counter on the same two shoes, but they look different. Or like everybody knows, the Paris SBs, every model is slightly different the way the pictures and images go on the shoe. But for this one in particular, the colors and the pattern on this, the pieces of art, is exactly the same on every single pair that everybody gets. So I'm gonna pop up some quick images just so you guys can see how Futura likes to create when it comes to his designs and his pieces of art and how he was able to take his style of art and add that to this sneaker. Hey yo, just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website, shopdnashow.com. Also, you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices. I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. Now on the back end right here on the heel counter, you're gonna have a raised print or a puff print, whatever you wanna consider it. And then like we talked about earlier, this is gonna be raised as well. And you're gonna have the Futura Laboratories FL here on the back end on the heel counter on both shoes. Now when it comes to the swoosh, you have a more of a hairy suede and that's gonna be in a darker green color. And then on the back end right here on the tab, this is gonna be a 3M tab with the Nike branding printed in a white metallic tag. Now one thing that I noticed when it comes to the right foot and particular compared to the left foot if you look at the inside of the foot around the toe area you can see that you have this yellow stitch with these kind of like diamond like shapes all throughout but I like the little detail it's subtle but it's clean now these come standard with a pair of SB laces but these ones in particular have more of that two-tone vibe similar to like your Union Air Jordan 1's so you're gonna have more of a mint green with a blue outer liner as you get farther to the top of the shoe you're gonna see that it turns into the blue that matches the collar and sock liner here now these come with an additional set of purple laces that match the top end of the tongue here you have more of that minty turquoise color here when it comes to the Futura patch and the SB patch like we we typically see it still says Nike SB but I like how they did it with his font and his style now when it comes to the collar like we talked about that's gonna be the same color now when it comes to the insole as you guys can see you have kind of like an all-over print or whatever you want to consider it it's scattered signature and it's gonna be in a bunch of different colors with the Futura signature and then at the bottom right here you got Futura laboratories you have Nike SB and the Futura signature in all black right there and that's gonna be the same thing on both feet and then on the back end you got your little zoom pad here and your extra cushioning on the front end around the ball of the foot so overall I definitely think this is a very solid sneaker and I'm kind of salty that I wasn't able to grab these for retail this is my homies pair but I am still on the hunt so if you guys see a size 13 for a decent price definitely hit me up and send it my way because I'm for sure looking to grab a pair and add them to my collection i think they're going for like four or five hundred bucks or something like that right now i think the prices will go up and i know i'm a size 13 so probably you could get it for a cheaper price if you were a smaller size that's just how it goes in the shoe game especially when it comes to sps they always be taxing for the size 13s you guys know the struggle and i understand because they barely make any pairs like it's rough when you go to the raffles and everything they be having like one size 13 at the store so i get it i get it so if you guys want to see any more when it comes to sps or rare sneakers or any other additions to my collection make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like I said earlier, I tagged the video for you guys to check out Ryan Cooper's collection because I'm telling you right now, again, <laughs> it is loaded with bangers. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware I would never let you down. DNA, the only choice I